Hello everyone, my name is Rob Wilson, you're watching the Video Gadgets Journal and today is a rundown of the current state of play when it comes to iOS screen recorders. Over the course of 2016, we have seen many applications appear while some have disappeared. So what can you download today as of the beginning of November? Well, let's start with the one that's been the most tried and tested and has been around since, well, the beginning of 2016 and that is Airshow. It's currently available at savagepool.com and I still continue to recommend Airshow because I have good contacts with a developer and they are continuing to develop the application on a, I would say, irregular basis. One of the reasons for this is because they have a full streaming service called Show, which they concentrate on, but as a standalone screen recorder, which then you can use to edit videos and upload to YouTube yourself, Airshow is a viable option. Now, as always is the case with applications that you download off the App Store, which I've just done as you can see, you will get the certificate error if you just try to launch the application. In order to fix that, you simply go to Settings, then General, scroll down to Profile and Device Management, and whatever the certificate is currently called, you tap on it, it's usually an enterprise app name, tap on the blue trust button, then the red trust button, and that should get the application working, as you'll see here. And that launches a screen recorder, and then you can do a screen recording, and for more information on that, you can watch several videos that I've already done on the topic. The one problem with Airshow is that it is a certificate, and that does often get revoked. And when it gets revoked, it means that you can't use the application until the developers fix the certificate. Again, I've got more information on this, and you can watch videos about it. But in terms of reliability, how it performs, I continue to recommend Airshow over any other video screen recorder for your iOS device. Now, as good and popular as Airshow is, some people frankly hate it because it goes down so often and because when you do a screen recording, it picks up every external noise because it records off the microphone. So an alternative to this, and quite a compelling one, is a application called Video, V-I-D-Y-O. And you can currently download it from this location, which is mios.haimawan.com. And then there's a little extra bit to actually find video. As you can see, the language is in Mandarin, I believe. I will leave a direct link in the video description, and you can download it from here. Alternatively, sometimes it seems to disappear from this website, and there is another location where you can download it, and that's from a software app store, which you download outside of the usual Apple App Store, and that's called Tweetbox, which you can download from tweetboxapp.com. And again, I've done another video on this, on how to download the application. Once you've downloaded it, it will look like another application on your iOS device. When you launch it, it's essentially a app store, but not the official app store. And what you would do once you've clicked off the many adverts which often appear on this application, you can go to apps, tweak box apps, and you will find that Airshow is also available from here, although I do believe that it's just the same location as savagepool.com. But video is also available from here, and you can install it as you would do the Airshow application. Once it's installed, you've got the same issue as you have with Airshow, whereby it's using a certificate from outside the App Store. So if I launch it, it's going to give you an untrusted enterprise developer error issue. To fix that, again, you go to Settings, Profile and Device Management. It will usually have a different certificate name to Airshow, but you do the same process of trusting it. And once you've trusted it, then you can launch the application. Now, the interesting thing about video is that it records sound directly from the device, which means that you do not pick up any of the microphone sounds. You can choose to do that, but you can choose also to just record from device sounds so it doesn't impact the recording that you're making. The one problem with this is whenever you do recording with video, you cannot hear the volume on your recording because it's recording the sounds internally. So you have to just trust that it's recording the sound and you can't hear anything when you're playing, which might be a, a bit of an issue when you're playing a game that requires sound, maybe like a stealth 
first person shooter for example but video has been used by many people some people prefer it to air show and that's the most compelling alternative that you have and next on the list of screen recorders is bb recorder now this did make some waves earlier on in the summer of 2016 when it appeared on the app store for a very brief amount of time and people were able to download it if you did download it from the app store you can still do that but as I say, you had to have downloaded it previously when it was available on the App Store. Now it's disappeared. But if I look in my history, I should be able to find a BB Recorder there, which I can download. This kind of works for some people, whereas for other people, a BB Recorder just doesn't work at all. And one major problem is that when you have a video which you've recorded and you try and share it, it just bombs out of a program. There is a fix for that, I've done a video for it, but BB Recorder is very difficult to find and download. There have been one or two sightings of it on the internet, and I did do a video where I downloaded it, but then it very strangely asked me to sign into my Apple iTunes account when I downloaded it, which was something I wasn't going to do. So BB Recorder is an available option if you knew about it previously, but really it's very difficult to find, and I would probably steer clear of it if you did find it on the internet. So those are what you might call the big three screen recorders of 2016 so far, but there are a couple that are starting to emerge. One of those is from a company called Wondershare, and they've developed an application called Dr. Phone, spelt with an F. Now this is in the very early stages of development, it's essentially on version one at the moment, and it works in exactly the same way as video and air show, in that you install it from outside of the App Store. It gives you the untrusted enterprise developer error, and then you have to go to your profile and device management and trust certificate. The one huge drawback with this application right now is that there aren't many options to it, and when you try and do a recording, which I will show you right now, it says that it's a trial version and you can only record for one minute, which I know for all of you is pretty much useless. They are charging for this application and they have what I would call the temerity to charge $30 for an application that you don't even download off the App Store and it can be revoked as a certificate at any time and you don't get as many options as either air show or video. so. There's a lot of work to be done for this application to be even considered. There is another side to it, which allows you to mirror the screen onto your computer and then screen record from there. And I will be doing a video on that in the very near future if I haven't already done so. But for now, it's probably a screen recorder you can look at with intrigue, but have to wait for it to be developed a bit more to be interesting as an application for us to use without having to pay a ridiculous amount for it. The last screen recording application has been sitting on my home screen all this time. Did you notice it? Well, it's called Cool Pixel. And if you've been following the iOS screen recording scene for the last few months, you may notice that this looks somewhat familiar because it appeared as a pad dashy on the App Store very briefly before being removed. Now, this is the English translation of the application, which the developer has done. And it looks very similar to BB Recorder and works in the same way other than it actually works when you do a screen recording. Now, I have this application because the developer gave me a sneak preview of it to, for me to give him feedback. And as of recording, there are issues with the frame rate and audio syncing, so I don't think it's quite ready to be downloaded yet. The other thing is that he's put it on the App Store and charging $10 for it. But the problem is, as I search for Cool Pixel today, it's not on the App Store. So whether it's been removed or not by Apple, I'm not sure. But I did warn the developer about this. If you want to put a paid application on the App Store, with the potential of it being revoked and removed, then you're going to have some pretty angry customers. Now, if you want to, me to do a preview of this application, by all means, post your comments below, but I would say it's not just ready to be used as a screen recorder, certainly compared to air show and video. So cool pixel, keep an eye on it, do some searches, see if it appears. And that pretty much wraps up this roundup of iOS screen recorders as of late 2016. I hope you found it useful. 
If you've got questions, do pop them in the comments below and I'll try and help you out. If you want me to do more detailed analysis of each application, then let me know and I'll try and do more reviews if you want them. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please put a thumbs up on the video if you did. If you want more content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Otherwise, you know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.